All right, so today I'm starting a new tutorial series about um, creating kind of easy to set up Unreal projects to kind of get started prototyping and just as an intro to the um, engine. And uh, so what I have here is a little scene um, that we'll hopefully create with a character um, that is a cylinder and they're gonna move through this maze. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go new level. We're gonna just pick default level. And uh, this project is just a, a default project. It doesn't have any um, character controllers in it or anything like that. Um, so when you build a new project, just pick the default one, character. Okay, so we don't want to do anything here. We have our folder. So right-click in your folder, go to Blueprint. We're going to create a pawn. A pawn is an actor that is possessed uh, by the player and can take an input. So this BP player. All right, so we're going to have this now and uh, we're gonna save our level as well save it as new map alright now we have a uh, player blueprint but we're not gonna open it just yet we go to project settings we'll go to input um, and we want to go to access mappings we're gonna add two okay just click that plus sign I'm gonna do horizontal Movement, or you can do move horizontal and move vertical. Okay, and in here, we're going to start with um, mouse control. So for horizontal, we'll just do mouse X. And for vertical, do mouse Y. Okay. And if you want, you can add more. And you can add the um, keyboard controls. If you click this here, this will allow you to just type on your keyboard what you want. So for horizontal, I'm going to do A and plus. And then I'm going to click here again and press D. Now I have two. And the A should be minus. All right. And you can do the same thing for W. S, and I believe that the W is minus. All right. All right. Now we have our basic setup here. We can use mouse or we can use keyboard. I probably wouldn't use both for this type of character, but that's fine. Okay. So we have our level. We've got our blueprint player. We've got our input setup. So let's double click on our blueprint. All right. Looking good. So we're going to go up here, add a component, and I'm going to type in cylinder and search. Select cylinder. There it is. All right. Compile. Save. Now let's go to the event graph. All right. We have all this stuff. We don't really need it right now. So we're going to delete it. And we're going to right click. Here, I'm going to make this bigger. We're going to right click, we're going to do move horizontal. Okay, so here's our value and here's our events. We want events. So we want that one. We actually want the move vertical event as well. All right. Uh, now, um, Anytime we do those two things, there's going to be some input here. Um, and in order to move our um, player, we need to create a world offset. So if you type in add actor world offset, this just increments the player's location. So you don't have to um, worry about like where they are. You can just add input to it. So this is very rudimentary for um, Unreal. They have all sorts of blueprint uh, components that you can use to do this too. So we're just going to do this though. This is just bare bones if you want something very simple. And then we would stick it right into here and here. 
but we're going to want a speed variable. So let's give ourselves a speed variable. We're going to make it a float. If you compile, this value will show up. And let's make it uh, 10. All right, so now pull off of the speed. Look for this multiply here. And I don't like having it too much crisscrossing going on. All right, and then from here to here, we're moving horizontal, which is actually why I believe it's like. So horizontal is green, so it's the Y value. And this into the X. All right, and that should get you some motion. Now if we look on our screen here, click play. Oh, so one more thing that we forgot to do. Is if you go into world settings, you've got no game mode. So if you go to game mode, you're just going to do a new game mode. Now it's selected here. We have our default pawn. That's not what we want. We want our B, B player, right? Now we press play. We are the oh, okay. so you'll see there's two okay so that one all right and we still have an issue with the camera um, so if you scroll out to about here and you find the camera drag it here then you go up to here snap view object to view and that will move the camera to there then scroll down to the oh we're in it's gonna be on details camera details auto activate floor player there all right so now at least when we play, we have our character. Now the keyboard is flipped, so um, is it flipped for both? No, just for vertical. So we can fix that by going into this, and so the W should There you go. All right, so um, we basically have a character set up, but there's a couple gotchas. So let me show you that. Close this out. Now, if we add a cube, and I'm going to press um, uh, R to expand this cube. And then I press W to go back to my movement. And control W, we can kind of make a wall here, right? Uh, we have our cube, but look, it goes right through. All right, so a couple of things we need to do. Um, a lot of times it's good to have a control, a, 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 a collision box or something on this thing here. Um, so that's one thing that you need to do. And then the other thing you need to do is sweep. So I think it might work with just sweep. Nope. So sweep doesn't work, right? But you need both. So we can put this here. And you could also use like a collision box instead of the actual mesh. All right. And if you took off the sweep, you'll see. Right. 
So you gotta add sweet to get it to work. So now you could set up a little I'm just playing around with this here. I'm gonna do this. Make it a little shorter. Of course, you can play with the perspective of the camera as well now. Um, And then find your player start and then move it so that it's kind of in a start spot like that. Now you have a little maze. There you go. So anyway, very simple. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and um, please like and subscribe and uh, tune in for the next one. Thanks a lot.